Now, vaccinators are working to quickly get the most vulnerable populations vaccinated, and they are continuing their efforts today. KCTV 5 Savannah Rudisell is walking us through how the Kansas City VA is making clinics even more accessible. Savannah, so what's new with the vaccination process? Yeah, Jenny, here at the Kansas City VA, they're opening it up to walk-in. So any person of any age that's enrolled in VA healthcare is welcome to just walk into any of their vaccination events. They've got one going on today, and they're hoping to get about 600 people that first dose of the vaccine. Now, we're joined here this morning here at the Kansas City VA with Angela Ottman. She's one of the assistant directors here. Angela, thank you so much for joining us here this morning. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how active these clinics have been, how popular they've been? Very popular. So the minute that a vaccine hits the news stories, we have veterans that start calling in to make their appointments. We're very lucky today that we have availability for 500 walk-ins. Um, starting, We have appointments starting at 8.30 when we ask walk-ins to start coming in around 9.30, and we'll take them up to 2.30 today. And if on the off chance there aren't 500 eligible people who are able to walk in today, can you tell us a little bit about what you do with that leftover supply? Yeah, absolutely. So we have pharmacy staff that run around this clinic all day and um, look and see how much vaccine that we're using. And we thaw based on um, the patients that we have coming in. So we don't thaw more than we need. And so we can actually roll those over to events that we're going to start having next week. And we were talking a little bit earlier, too, about how great it is that it's, it's as convenient as can be while it's here. But what are you doing as far as outreach goes for the people who you serve who can't quite get to the Honor Annex here? What do you guys plan, have planned for them? Sure. So we've had a couple of different community events up until this point. Next week, we're hoping to have another large one toward the end of the week. And then moving into April, v, VA has actually said that April is Minority Veterans Health Awareness Month. And so we have at least two events that we're going to plan out in the the urban areas of, of the Kansas City Metro. We may even do a bus tour, you know, kind of like um, rock stars do five cities one day, you know, yeah. th that sort of thing. So we can get out to those communities that aren't able to bus in or maybe they're not on a bus route in order to get the vaccine out to everyone. You guys are just about as popular as rock stars right now with the <laughs> supply of vaccine that you have. Absolutely. And then for any eligible veteran, you're welcome and encouraged to call the VA either to see how many appointments they have available or get yourself on a list for the next uh, upcoming clinics. And that number is 816-922-2619. And reporting live here in Kansas City, Savannah Rudisell, KCTV 5 News. They're definitely rock stars. Love that they're thawing the vaccine so none of it is going to waste. That's exactly what I was going to point out. Yeah. So they're doing it as it's needed. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Savannah.